So if I were to ask you, or if I were to tell you that negative three minus blank is equal to negative four, can you pause this video and figure out what this blank is? All right, now let's do this together. And I'm gonna do this by drawing out a number line because that's what my head tries to do with things like this. Let me draw a straighter line than that. All right, that's a pretty good number line. Let's see, I'm gonna be dealing with negative three and I'm gonna subtract something of it to get to negative four. So let me focus on the negative end here. So let's say this is zero. That could be positive one. Then I have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, I'll just go negative six. That's the other end of it. So this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five. So let's start at negative three. So negative three is that point on the number line. And I want to end up at negative four. That is that point on the number line. So to go from negative three to negative four, I have to go one step in the leftward direction. So one step in the leftward direction, you could either view that as subtracting one, or you could view that as adding a negative one. Now we have, we're already subtracting here. So we, the simplest thing to do is just say, okay, this is the same thing as subtracting one. And we're done. Negative three minus one is indeed equal to negative four. Let's do another example. Let's say we had negative one is equal to negative seven minus what? Pause the video and try to work through that. And try to do a number line. I always find that useful. All right, let's work through this together again. So let's, let me draw a number line here. Let's see, I have a negative one, I have a negative, I have a negative seven, so I'm gonna deal with the negative end of things. So let me make this zero, I'll make that positive one, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. Let me write this, this is negative seven right over here, negative eight, negative nine, negative 10. I think that's probably enough. So let's see. We're saying negative one is equal to negative seven minus something. So essentially we're starting at negative seven here. We're starting at negative seven and we're subtracting something from that to end up over here at negative one. This is negative one right over there. So let's just think about what the arrow needs to go do to get from negative seven to negative one. Well, to do that, you're going to have to go, it looks like, six units to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go six units to the right. Now, there's two ways to describe going six units to the right. You could say that is just plus six, or you could view that, that's the same thing as minus negative six. And we've seen that subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its inverse. And since we already have a, a negative sign here or a minus sign here, we might as well say, well, this is the same thing as subtracting a negative six, a negative six. I'll put it in parentheses to make it a little bit cleaner. And we're done. Let's do another example, another example here. So let's say we I'll make it give us our, give ourselves give ourselves a clean slate. Let's say we wanted to figure out so I have blank minus negative five is equal to thirteen. How would you tackle that? Well, let me just draw my number line again. I have my whole real estate to use this time, so let me just go all the way there. And let's see, I'm dealing with something, it's, it's gonna be roughly five away, it feels like, from 13. So let me just uh, make my number line. I'm just gonna say this is zero. I have to get to 13. So actually, let me give myself a little bit more space. So this is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think that is sufficient. So we don't know where we're starting. We know we want to end up at 13. So 13, let me let me put that on our on our number line here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 is right over here. And now how did we get to 13? 
Well, we are subtracting a negative five. Now, as I just mentioned, subtracting a number is the same thing as adding the inverse of the number. So this is the same thing as adding positive five is another way of thinking about that. So, or another way of depicting either of these, subtracting negative five or adding positive five, would essentially be you're starting someplace and you're going five units to the right. So you start at some place and you're going five units to the right to end up at 13. So that means you started five units to the left. One, two, three, four, five. You started right over here, you go five units to the right and you ended up at 13. Well, this right over here, five units to the left of 13, this is going to be eight. And it is indeed the case that eight minus negative five is equal to 13. Now there's other ways that you might be able to think about this. If something minus negative five is equal to 13, then another way you could think about it, if I were to tell you that three minus two is equal to one, you could also say that an equivalent statement is that three is equal to one plus two. You could turn that subtraction equation into an addition equation. So over here, if I say this minus this is equal to that, then that means that 13 plus negative five must be equal to blank, our mystery number. And if I add 13 and negative five, you might recognize that as being equal to eight. So either way, there's a lot of ways that you could approach this, but they all get you to kind of the same conceptual place.